this is what it means to be captain. Hey everybody, it's Chucka Conroy. Welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy 2. Last time, we had a much better victory against Bowser than we did against Bowser Jr. And then, we made it to a brand new world. Or, four trillion of them? I don't get why they call these worlds when they're entire, like, nebulas and galaxies and this, that, and the other. If you have 28 stars, which we don't, you can't do this right away, there's a pretty big skip here where there's a warp pipe on the overworld that moves further into the world. For now, though, our choices are Cloudy Court, which I like, and Tall Trunk, which I also like. Give me about 20 minutes. I decided to go with Tall Trunk, as this one's the most unlike anything we have ever seen. The flotatious blimp fruit. Oh my gosh, guys, we're gonna become flotatious. I've always wanted to function as a flotation device. Having way too much fun with that word. So we have the sequel to, guys, Bowser's hair just moved. Guys, light shines through trees in video games now. I guess with this being a new world, you could call it the extended universe of that. <laughs> Uh, you can just kindly bug off, and you can kindly give me star bits, and you can kindly be eaten if you are happy to oblige, I am happy to accommodate that need. Get so many star bits here at the start, just everything's turning into them. Already up to getting close to a one-up kind of-ish. I'm gonna ignore that for right now. I wanna go into this bonus room. Which, I think I would have an easier time just being Mario for this, but it's okay. We gotta make sure Yoshi doesn't feel left out. We gotta make sure he's got purpose before I inevitably abandon him for a second jump. Uh, pull its head off. Squish you. And then time for the one-ups. One, a two, a three. Looking good. Perfect run! Unless you count the star bits. And the coins. And the movement. And the optimization. Well, that's what it felt like to admit that to myself. I'll just take your coin. Fine, okay, at least I did that smoothly. Now, for the titular flotatious fruit, I'm actually going to ignore it for right now. Speedrunners? Because of course I gotta compare everything to that. They usually don't even take Yoshi for this first segment. They, L let me get away from the tree. I'm, I'm not getting high enough of it because I'm too far away. They like to wall jump up the tree and that honestly just sounds like a lot of fun to me. So I wanna give it an honest attempt before just using Yoshi. I'm gonna end up using Yoshi anyway, because let's face it, I just, I'm, I'm not that good, but we'll try it. It just sounds like a good, ah. Good triangle jump right there. We're gonna long jump more toward the tree to, I gotta be honest, my best attempt after like 20 tries is just getting on the first platform. What up I didn't get? <laughs> of course the most important one was the only one I didn't open besides the Goomba. <laughs> okay, Yoshi, it's your time to shine. So, we don't get to be flotatious. Only Yoshi can. You turn into a blimp, and Mario brown noses him. Uh, by shaking the Wii Remote, you can pop the blimp at any time just to cancel out of it. And I would actually recommend, well, okay, maybe I won't get a chance to show it right here. Um, yeah, no, I can. Uh, we'll go ahead and eat that again. Go up. Uh, that mushroom does something, I bet. You can hold A to uh, plug up Yoshi's mouth so that the air doesn't leak out. You still lose air, but it's good for going for distance rather than height. Oh, uh, no, 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 saving throw, good, okay. Go, 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 even further, and on we go! Through the leaves of the trees. That'd be so painful, you get like leaves up your eyelid from that. Uh, I'll go here, got a nice cylindrical planet, and we'll float up or down. You don't know truly what you are in space. Shake to cancel that, and we'll go down the pipe. Ah, another space casino, we haven't been seeing enough of these. I gotta say, for a game called Super Mario Galaxy 2, we sure haven't spent a lot of time in space so far. We just kinda go to alien worlds that have ordinary looking skies. 
Uh, the Bowser levels have been in space, at least. I'm not, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I just am noticing that there's an awful lot more clear blue skies, alien worlds, rich vegetation, clouds, and stuff like that. You spend a lot more time in the sky than you do actually in seemingly deep space. Uh, lick the wings off of you. What an unfortunate way to lose that. I guess my uh, saliva is corrosive, causing that to happen. Uh, oh, nope. Uh, well, I can cancel out of it. Oh, no, no, oh, no, no. Okay, well, I'm not getting that one-up anymore. <laughs> I thought those were the only four coins, so never mind. You get a one-up if you collect all those. Comet metal right here. Eat you. Somehow my tongue reached all that distance. And what I like doing is, yes, eating a fruit as Yoshi with Mario's hat. Take that. I gotta go back the other way at some point. For now, I'll just take you. Eat that. Eat you as well. Float up into this. Cancel out of that. Grab you down there. That's four out of five. Yoshi, it took every fiber of my being to not abandon you for a starship. You should feel honored. All right. So what I like doing is canceling out of this by shaking the nunchuck. Yeah. Shaking the nunchuck works just as well as shaking the full-blown Wii Remote in every situation. But in this case, your pointer never goes off of the next fruit that you want to eat. It's a very efficient and easy way to replenish the supply. It's one of very few situations where it's actually worth it, in my opinion. But another good tip that you might not have known. Now, what I'm going to do is abandon Yoshi because ground pounding here is just way too fun! Look at that! <laughs> it's just, it's so cool looking! Ground pounding is so fast! Yoshi can respawn any second, okay. I knew you'd be fine. You always are. You get out of every bad situation that I precariously put you in. Keep going. Eat you. Just chain them together. Nice, efficient movement. At least I can do one thing like a speedrunner. Oh, no! Wait. I did not shake right there. Huh. At least I caught myself. So no harm done. Go around Yar. Take this one. We're just floating up. <laughs> Mario, your view of the action has got to be most unbecoming. Let's get you out of here. I'm sure it was no picnic for Yoshi to have that part of his body breathed on. <laughs> for that long. <laughs> Got a Comet Medal. I'm waiting for the day that I forget a Comet Medal and don't even notice it. Starship Mario can now advance. Looks like we've got another hungry mouth to feed here. You got a new friend here. A friend with something special for you. If you want to check it out, just head down to that pipe over there. Did we finally get a Whittle to join our crew? Did we get a Whittle? I want my own Whittle. I want a Whittle Whittle. He's, he's so cute. Oh, they never use him again. This is my only chance, okay? Don't take it away from me. Yes, because gambling has so much to do with giant trees. Luma Lee, Luma Pop, welcome to the Luma Shop. Care to spin a chance cube for only 30 coins? Oh. Have you seen my chance cube? Blue is the boy, red, his mother! <laughs> you spin this, it can be a one up, a five up, or a star bit. Five up! It's gambling, yeah! But you have to pick them up in time so it can potentially go to waste. One, two, and three. What's really funny is talking to him from back here. Uh, they didn't bother creating a full box for this room. <laughs> the sky box is visible because no one ever talked to him from the back. It's, um, I think it's possible to talk to him just right so that the camera really shows you a lot. Okay, now, um, I can't quite get it to go around further than this, but you get the point. <laughs> They didn't bother. You're clearly not supposed to see the skybox because it's just a black abyss when you view it normally. <laughs> it's a funny oversight. This is repeatable without having to even leave the area, but for now, I'm just gonna take gambling and stick it in your ear. 
Back into the galaxy, Tall Trunks Big Slide. Oh, I've been waiting for this one. This is the first level, the first mission that I think really gives people trouble, and I know that's the kind of thing that people look most forward to, and I've had some weird deaths where I wouldn't say I died on too many hard things, but died at really stupid times. Let's see what awaits us. Our people, brave. This place, sacred. Green Stash ran away. Swing, use it. Green Stash, much nervous. The star, courage. Our people, much courage. Our people, riddles. Piranha plants, dead. Coins, devoured. Star bits, pockets. Three ups, moment. Moment, now. 31 lives, 31 lives, 31 lives. Sling star, up tree, slide, tree chop, show, show courage. Smug horde? Oh, I thought he said smug horde. <laughs> Uh, there I was gonna just skip over the line because I'm sure it was getting a little tiring and then uh, I, I want to read it anyway. Just swing on up. I miss climbing trees. I I hate being an adult and being so aware of my mortality now because I used to climb trees and do all sorts of things that I would never be caught dead in a million years doing. <laughs> and it's all because of being aware of things. Slide, never quit. Please take this checkpoint. You will be very upset if you don't. Sharp red things. No touchy. No touch. An original Whittle design. Be brave. Jump in. Because you told me to! <laughs> Hope you're ready for this music. We got Spinies to deal with. We got... Uh, other sharp red things. Which one were they talking about? You will never know because of their language barrier. Wigglers! Got to deal with those as well. You can jump into these to get free stuff. Another one up, because we just got to collect them all. Jump over that. So far, so good. I hesitated a little bit when saying that because of the spiny. I am aware of things. Didn't get the one up, but it's okay because I'm not dead. Oh boy, barely. Thank you. Take that. Uh, it's Wiggler Wednesday up in here. Okay, gotcha. Jumping a little preemptively. And, oh, wow. I, I, I was not holding the control stick that way. So that really scared me. That's a little tight. This is very tight. Somehow clear the jump and one try. Here is symbol of courage. Take star. I'll happily take star. Can one of you come with me and be mine? Please. I'll take good care of you and water you every day. Your leaves are dead, so I would say that you could definitely use that upgrade in life. Brave symbol, star yours. We judge you. Very brave. It's so cute how they're judging us. Ah, oh, give me that star. fun pretty easy time another one up one third to the max Achoo. looks like you brought back a widow with oh yes and here I was worried we weren't gonna get one I love those guys I knew that one joined up eventually I didn't think it was that early I think he wants to talk to you about comet medals go give him a listen shouldn't take long you can take up as much of my time as you would like you have my express permission to speak forever. Collect many comet metal? Comet arrive. First time in galaxy. Always one comet metal somewhere. Look hard. Find. He's even respectful of my time! Today officially can't get any better now that we've gotten a whittle. I'm going to make history today by naming him 
Carver. I have made history by having the first named Whittle in the entire canon. See, was that so hard, Miyamoto? I gave this some thought and I decided we can squeeze in one more. Those are pretty short missions. Into Cloudy Court we go. Head in the clouds. Don't worry, we'll keep our feet on the ground. With mechanics like the Cloud Suit, using wind to your advantage, and the Fluffy Bluff music, you can imagine this is a good one. You can jump off of a cloud for exactly one frame. I think it's one frame anyway, at least it's what I've heard claimed in uh, a GDQ run. Come on, are you gonna, are you gonna, you gonna flop down? You gonna flop down? You gonna flop down? Okay. I'm gonna flatten you like a pancake, and even look like one too. I'm glad you've accepted your new lot in life. Uh, these hedges trimmed in the shape of dinosaurs are awfully cute. Possibly even cuter than our real dinosaur. I just don't. I swear I like Yoshi, okay? I'm not out to crap on him about everything. <laughs> it's just that bad things tend to happen to him whenever Mario is involved, so I'm just trying to be in the spirit of that. I don't actually hate Yoshi. Granted, I do think he. I don't. Granted, I do think he is kind of an overrated Mario character because he doesn't really actually do a whole lot except be in party and cart games and. He's even gone missing in action for a long time and not really got to do a lot when he's finally shown up again, yet he's a lot of people's favorite character. I, I think he's cool. I just don't think he's like the greatest Mario character of all time or anything. Uh, all right. So I got coins, but no actual reward for it. That's got to be a first out of those question mark coins. Oversight, perhaps? Cloud wind ride? Oh, cloud, cl <laughs> clown wind ride indeed. I know I got red and white on me, but I didn't think I looked very clowny. I thought I looked cool. Hop on these drums. Messing up the beat here. Boom. That was kind of on beat with the music. That was not quite as much. Go up. Take that. And these are probably going to give a one up. One bounce. Uh, come on, yeah! And that didn't give a one up. Sure, fine, whatever. Not like I wanted one anyway. I already got 33 of them. I don't feel left out. I feel plenty included. Cloudy Court is a level that changed a lot through development. Uh, it's believed that this level was going to be earlier in the order because um, there's the fact that in the soundtrack, the song is not called Fluffy Bluff Galaxy. It's called Cloudy Court Galaxy, whereas all the other music is a galaxy's, uh, is the level that a song first appeared in. There's also the fact that in the E3 trailer, this level involved Yoshi and not Cloud Mario. Well, I know what mission we're doing now. Uh, it involved Yoshi, but not Cloud Mario. However, we have no idea how the level design would have differed to accommodate this, as uh, we only see it between the flight between planets. We don't actually see Mario and Yoshi doing any jumping around in the level itself. I was right when I said I knew what mission we were doing. Never said it wasn't this one. Tastes like when I was a kid and I was bored in an afternoon, so I would just suck on my shirt for an hour until it started to taste good. Transform! Mom told me I'd grow up into a bowl. The music's fading out. It's serious. Don't fall in. Need a cloud suit to walk on these. Do not take damage, as these go from being your best friend to your worst nightmare. You can use the long jump to get some serious airtime. Love that cloud suit long jump. I, I, I don't know if it was an intended trick. It does use momentum, and it does operate on some physics. Could have been a byproduct that they just kept in, or maybe weren't aware of, but whatever it is, I like it, and I think it makes the cloud suit at 10 times more fun than it already was, which is saying a lot. Go over this way, going to grab a renewed cloud suit, get all the way over there, almost in one long jump. Learn to not have the hubris get the better of me. It, oh baby, okay. That was almost a disaster fee. Need to be more careful. I know you can walk between these clouds, but I just, I don't trust it. You can see negative space and it just, it makes me nervous. Come on, okay. They follow you even if there's impossible physics. It's all five silver stars. It's kind of bizarre how a silver star doesn't count toward your star total, but a bronze star does. 
Maybe those could have been flipped, but I guess they'd already introduced Silver Star, so they couldn't retcon what they did. Uh, wait! No, no, I don't have a cloud! <laughs> I have to do it all over again. It's a walk of shame. <laughs> Gonna try... Bravo, you did it! Eventually! Or peach-colored sky. He might have grown up to be a bull, but at least he can say he was memorable. Two more levels open. It just never ends. Hey. hey, bro! Everyone left me behind. I had to hustle to get up here. So, hey, guess what? I decided to look for power stars, too. You see me out there, come say hi. I can help you save the universe. <laughs> Luigi! I want to look for power stars too. If you see me out there in one of the galaxies, say hello. If anyone sa saves the universe, it's gonna be me. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. After clearing one mission to Cloudy Court, Luigi comes out of nowhere and just joins the crew. His presence was only foreshadowed by there being a green stash that ran away from Tall Trunk, so Cloudy Court's where he ended up. For now, I think we're gonna end things off here. Next time on Super Mario Galaxy 2, we're gonna go back into Cloudy Court Galaxy, possibly with Luigi, possibly not. See you guys then.